Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Beretta 9mm USA Senior here. And whether we're on the Beretta 9mm USA channel or the CZ 9mm USA channel, we do want to thank our sponsors. Uh, one of them is Committee Coffee. So if you want some coffee, guys, check them out. Committee Coffee, you can order whatever kind of coffee you want, be it full bean or go ahead and grind it. They can do that too. So one of the things I love about them, not only is the coffee great, but this mug is fantastic. So if you guys need some decent mugs in the house, there you go. A revolver video on the Beretta 9mm USA channel. We're gonna have a Kimber revolver with an excellent set of lock grips on it. I do believe it is called Veloce grips. They are a blue and black and a full size, as you can tell right here. So when young Beretta put these on this Kimber revolver, which actually belongs to me, I was on the fence of getting rid of this along with a couple other um, Smith & Wesson revolvers that I intend to sell. Had not made a final decision yet. The Kimber comes with a much smaller, almost like a boot grip on it and when we did review this revolver young Brett and I shot a lot of 38 special through it no problem at all a lot of 38 special plus P through it no problem at all when we did move it up to the 357 Magnum which is what this revolver is meant to shoot there is a noticeable amount of recoil felt recoil and pain in your hand just to be honest you know not saying that it's undoable because obviously there's a lot of guys on this channel that watch this channel and subscribe to this channel that shoot probably 357 Magnum all the time. In a revolver this light, not sure because this is a very, very light revolver in stock form. When you add this larger grip to it right here, which is absolutely beautiful, by the way, top marks on the manufacturing process here. It is a gorgeous grip. Anyway, when I first put it on here, I thought, you know, the grip is too big for the revolver. I don't think I like it. And uh, the young brother's like, well, try it out, man. See what you think. It seems like it's very, very high quality and see what you think of it. When you got it in your hand, you're actually, you know, pulling the trigger and, and practicing with it around the house, dry firing it a little bit. So I did. And the more I messed with it, the more I handled it, the more comfortable this thing is. It's like a dream come true for this revolver. And when it's in your hand, your hand is eating up the real estate right here, right? And so now the pistol doesn't seem as oblong or whatever you want to say because of the full size grip attached to the smaller revolver. It actually works together very, very well. And then you get to enjoy that trigger, which is a dynamite trigger, by the way. Obviously, it's double action only, right? You don't see any hammer or anything like that. It has a hidden hammer. So you're not pulling the hammer back into single action. This is made for a self-defense like revolver. Now let's talk about self-defense. Is this grip going to make it more difficult to carry in a concealed capacity? Yes. Is it doable? Definitely doable for me. A guy that weighs over 200 pounds, five foot 11, five foot 11 and a half. I can carry this thing absolutely no problem whatsoever. And again, fill it with 357 Magnum six rounds you're pretty well armed. And then you carry one speed strip, you got backup rounds. All right guys, so when you are going to reload this excellent Kimber K6S, it would be very helpful to have some products that are lightweight and easy to get to and easy to reload your revolver. If there's a situation that's bad enough that you need to reload it, and hopefully that's not the case. But if it is, it would be nice to carry a few extra rounds. You can either go with the Zeta 6K clip right here, which will be a drop in and then peel away type thing, or a K-Pack speed loader right here by Zeta 6, which is almost like just your regular strip reload loader, but it's, you can do it at three at a time. I'll go ahead and demonstrate both of those to you because I haven't done it in a while. And I want you guys to know how to properly and quickly reload your six shot 357 Magnum. So give me just a second to load these rounds into these reloaders. I don't think there's any worry in making this video a little bit longer. So I'm going to go ahead and show you how it's done. This is the Zeta 6 K clip. You take it in your hand right here and you take the rounds and kind of put them in at an angle. And as you put them in at an angle, kind of twist them and they'll go right in. Obviously, this is brand new, so just with a little bit of effort, they go right in. You don't want them falling out, so it's good that it is tight. And again, this is 38 Special Plus P right here, okay? Open it goes, trap the cylinder with your finger, take the K-clip, and when you bring the K-clip up, just kind of leave the tag or the side of it, the peel away part, right here. I'm talking about right here, off to the side so you can peel it away or up at the top so you can peel it away. Or if you pin it at the bottom, you'll be peeling up. So in this case, let's put it at the top or as close to the top as possible. When you get it like that, you kind of just peel it away and then 
shut the revolver, and go back to work. That's the Zeta 6 K clip with a K6S 357 Magnum. Now let's go ahead and restage it on the K pack. The K pack is a little bit more like a regular speed strip, but it does have an advantage of the way that it's set up. And let's just go over that real quick. You're gonna notice if you can just picture half of it at a time, one, two, three, and then you flip it over, one, two, three. So it's a little bit faster than loading just a couple at a time. And putting them in the K-Pack right here, just put the edge of the round in and then kind of twist it and turn it and it will go in. And the last one. So that's how it looks. And it goes right in your pocket like that. And they are tight enough, see, that if it's in your pocket moving around a little bit, you don't want the rounds to be falling out. So you want them to be somewhat tight in there, right? Just like that. Out goes the cylinder, trap the cylinder. And on these, you're gonna do them three at a time. So just think of it that way. So if you're gonna set it up, you're gonna set it up for these first three right here to go first. So line them up with your cylinder, three at a time, and peel away. Rotate the cylinder with your finger, and then, whoops, you can see one of them's trying to get out right there. So in a real world situation, I toss that one. Don't worry about it. Put the other two in and peel away. You're missing around. I don't care. You're going to go to work, right? So there's a real world situation. You can't worry about the things that fall off to the edges when your life is in danger. In practice right here, we're just going to put the other one in and we're just going to peel it away. The advantage to the K-clip is going to be speed. I think they're a little bit faster to get all six in. The advantage to the K-pack, it's easier to carry because it's not going to be as taking up all that real estate in your pocket or whatever. So it's thinner and easier to carry. But I think they're both pretty damn good. I've used both of them. I've actually never had one fall out like it did just now. But again, it's good to have that happen sometimes because you can kind of train around it. If you're using a revolver and you have an empty cylinder and you're engaging a bad guy and it goes click, that's what a revolver is all about. You pull the trigger again. Let's move the live ammo away from the table. So regardless of if you like revolvers or not, if you have a revolver, you need to know how to reload it, right? We're empty here, guys. No live ammo on the table, so we're back to being safe. Now the advantage to this Kimber K6S is it's got no Hillary hole or anything like that. My closing thoughts on this Kimber K6S. One is the lock grips are absolutely fantastic. And there are lots of reviews on lock grips talking about how absolutely fantastic the grips are. So it's nice to see that from other owners that are out there. You know, they are actually really, really enjoying their lock grips. Like I said, we have what? God, now we have like 35 pairs of different ones. These are one of the first revolver ones we've had, but all the ones on the semi-automatics from Barone Beretta pistols, Beretta 92s, Beretta 96s, all the 1911s that we've tried, we have not broken one pair of lock grips. Not chipped it, not broke it, not snapped off any of the hardware as we're putting the grips on and stuff. So they're very, very high quality. There's no doubt about it. These guys talk about the excellent grips that they've experienced and how they're able to shoot 357 Magnum out of this Kimber now much more easily. That's an advantage. You can handle more recoil than those little short stubby grips that were on it before. So that's really nice to see. Talks about the palm swell, totally solves the small wooden grip problem. He actually has a blue pair too, which is very similar to the pair that's right here on my revolver, and he absolutely loves them. So it's just good feedback. They're a really great company. If you wanna know how the, the grip is pronounced, this is what I found. Oh no, it's not gonna say it. Damn it. Veloce, Veloce. Oh, because that's a picture of it. Sorry. How I found out how to pronounce the grip is I found it on the internet. Veloce. 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 And there you go. Veloce grips from Lock Grips on a Kimber K6S. Top, top quality. A bit of a palm swell in here. It feels absolutely fantastic in the hand. And you guys already know, if you already own a Kimber K6S, they do have a fantastic trigger, guys. I mean, it's really a good trigger. It's broken in very nicely. 
So these grips might have saved this revolver for me and be a keeper. It's got no Hillary hole in it. I respect it for that. It's made by Kimber. I had three or four very nice Kimber 1911s. Uh, I know Young Brett is not a fan, but that's okay. We can be different. We can like different things. And I like my Kimbers, all four of my 1911s, and I am really liking this with these lock grips. Look at that picture right there. Lots of five-star reviews which is really cool. Okay, what is the price on the grips? It appears that they are 125. I cannot go through their website here and find a picture of the blue black one, so I'm not exactly sure how Young Beretta was able to order that, but if you're interested in this one, just go ahead and call them up and say, hey, I want the blue black Veloce grips that were shown on the Beretta 9mm USA video, and they'll hook you up. And again, it looks like 125, so the beautiful lock grips Veloce, wonderful. They feel fantastic in your hand. It's gonna be a little bit harder to use it as a uh, concealed carry. Maybe you move this to a home defense type setup. Maybe you're 230 pounds and you can hide a revolver this size, right? Let's be serious. It's not the biggest thing that you might carry, right? This full size 1911 is a lot bigger. Let's see if I can do this without banging them together. And let me get the grip part in so you can tell about even down here. So it's quite a bit smaller. I would say it's more along the size of a 1911 Commander, even with this large grip. So it can be done. I think I covered everything except for the weight. So guys, in closing, this Kimber K6S comes in at about 23 ounces stock. There's an exchange on the grips on this one. So let's add two and a half ounces onto that. Let's call it 25 and a half ounces. It is a double action only trigger and it is fantastic. So let's do real quick, because I love doing this and uh, I think you guys like it too. Let's just see what this thing is, right? Eight pounds, 15 ounces, and one more on a double action only. Eight pounds, 15 ounces. It feels good. It's consistent. It does not stack. It's consistent all the way through. So I actually like it a lot. And it's double action only. Okay guys, that's it for this video on the Veloce lock grips in the blue and black. They're absolutely fantastic grips on this Kimber K6S 357 Magnum. If you guys have any questions, hit me up in the uh, comments section. I usually answer the comments for the first two days, and then after that I kind of move on to something else. So uh, you're welcome on Patreon if you guys want to come over and join Patreon. Also, don't forget that I've got the CZ 9mm USA channel that we're trying to grow to 10,000 subscribers by the end of the year. I'm going to need your guys' help to do that. There's no question. So if you're interested in watching more videos, most of the videos on the CZ channel are original videos now. So I'm getting some new content put over there, new videos put in there as Young Beretta finally lets up and lets me have some videos on the CZ channel. So anyway, please come over and subscribe. Don't forget to give us a thumbs up on our videos. We'll see you guys on the next video. And remember, your Second Amendment is worth protecting.